Well, Mike, why don't you say this? Join me yeah. in making a commitment well that on day one you would pardon Donald Trump. I'm the only candidate on the stage who had the courage to actually say it. That's that is how we move our nation forward I don't know and turn the page forward. That That's exactly Trump right. Will be convicted of these crimes. You should make, be able to make a commitment. The same oh. justice system that was this Vivek, corrupt. The difference between you and, and me. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a professional actually, politician. That's I've the difference. Actually, who can answer uh, a question? I've actually given pardons. When I was governor of state of Indiana, it usually follows a finding of guilt and contrition by the individual that's been convicted. So, we'll look, we'll, if I'm president of the United States, we'll give fair consideration any pardon request. But if I may, <laughs> if I may, you know, it's not about looking back at, at January 2021. It's about January 20th, 2017. I put my left hand on Ronald Reagan's Bible. I raised my right hand. And I took an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. And it ended with a prayer, so help me God. It was a promise that I made to the American people, but I also made it, it made it to my Heavenly Father. Every day for four years, I sought to keep that oath. And everyone on this stage needs to make it clear whether or not they'll do the same if they earn this job and the confidence of the American people. Now look, I've made it clear. I, I had hoped that the issues surrounding the 2020 election and the controversies around January 6th had not come to this, had not come to criminal proceedings. I would rather they had been resolved by the American people and the American people alone. But no one's above the law, and President Trump is entitled to the presumption of innocence that every American is entitled to, and we will make sure and extend that to him. But the American people deserve to know that the president asked me in his request that I reject or return votes unilaterally, power that no vice president in American history had ever exercised or taken, uh, he asked me to put him over the Constitution. And uh, I chose the Constitution, and I always will. I had no vice right president to Pence. overturn the election, and Kamala Harris will have no right to overturn the election when we beat them in 2024. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.